So now that we're in the Cromorax Lair, this will be interesting. Now, this is my first attempt at doing this since our last video that you guys saw. In regards to me farming weapons. From a logic standpoint, farming weapons make a lot of sense. They really don't... Ooh. I might have just found something I need. It gives the same skills, except it's... Oh, it's reduced damage, though. That sucks. Wait, it's just... What? Oh, that's not even in my class. So my current one is plus 16. So it's slightly reduced sub ammo. Sub damage, but I get better ammo regen. I also get a better quick draw skill, high velocity skill, and girl power skill. It ain't bad. Is it worth it though? I don't know. Okay, so basically, our strategy for this. Because I was, I was watching a video last night about this. Because I wasn't 100% sure until I figured out what the problem was. So you have to have four different types of guns. You have to have a fire. You have to have a corrosive. And you have to have a shock. I don't think I have a shock gun. So I'm going to use... This for my shock weapon. And basically, our goal here is each of these different types does damage based on... It's like a calculation. And I may consider trying this double anarchy. I just know that it's inaccurate as hell. So left is corrosive. Right's electric. That one is fire. I don't remember which types are effective on what. All I remember is that each type is effective on a different minion. That's all I remember. I'll figure it out. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I should figure out what I want to put on first. Right now we got a skill cooldown, Riff, and I wouldn't put that on until the very end. Realistically, I either want to run resistance or team or glow. This one would actually be really good. We're gonna try that. Yeah, that's a massive shield increase. I'll be well past 4,000. 4177. Now I wanna see if this extra shield will make a difference. If I'm still getting crapped on, then we'll need to change it up. Left is corrosive fire. So that glitch does work. Like that. that sucks. I think Chrome Magnets are electric. Yes, they are. Wow. That, uh, that didn't work very well. Okay, so first thing I see, the shield didn't matter. I need to be able to regen my ability. 
I can just see that. So crawl maggots are this one. The regular dudes are this one, and these are the armored ones. What sucks is I don't have any uh I wish I might need to sell that. What sucks is I don't have a good electric weapon, except a sniper rifle. Which that doesn't really excite me. Let's try this again. There should be a glitch with comrades where you could like phase when he would lunge and you go hide on that ledge, then you can get like easy bag shots on him. He would still kind of kill you, but it was just a lag, you'd get a couple free hits on him. Huh? And only worked right away in the beginning. Second thing I'm gonna do because I noticed how this is working. We're gonna try this sub up. Inaccurate might be just what we need. Try this again. It's almost like It just seems like I can't kill him. I understand the whole point this is supposed to be hard to kill, but like... He just one-shots me. I don't understand how he can do that, how I can avoid getting one-shot. I have a way to improve my ability cooldown. Unless I was playing with teammates who had the same ability on. And I'm considering opening it up to do that. So you're telling me... Oh, these are the fire bands. This is trouble. I might open this up to be a co-op game. Because I just know how trouble this is. I have no idea if people are playing this. Try it again anyway. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna do it. Ah, first aid kit. Actually, I'm gonna take the team cooldown off. I'll put on the submachine gun damage. 
with the regen. Try again. There's no real strategy to this based on the equipment that I have. I 
have no way of hitting him. This might be short lived. Seriously, don't have any other electric guns. Basically, killing these guys down to weak. If I have to kill them. second. So this sniper rifle does not do bonus crit damage. What sniper rifle does bonus crit damage? I know one of these does. Two percent crit damage. Now I'm going to turn on the sniper class mod. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, if I fall off this, I'm gonna make an attempt at it. Right now, I don't really know how I'm up here. No way. I can't tell if he's gonna come over here to kill me or if he...
No way. That might be the only trouble. I just figured it out. The submachine gun, the submachine gun was doing a lot more damage because I was landing my hits. I'm not 60% sub damage. Actually, I'm going to turn on my bonus rarity drop. Damn, I'm going to hit his claw. Backside of his claw. As long as I can go, when he does that, he can't hit me. I can't believe he figured this out. Future reference of there's absolutely no way. I haven't seen him go over there before. Oh my god, I thought he was going to hit one of those BS. Oh, speaking of which... this one. Boy, he's like up in my shit. Buddy boy, get out of my shit. Just helping me regen some ammo. Should be funny. He's on the verge of eating it. like thermal move over there?
might try and snipe him. Because sniper will probably finish him. And since submachine guns max at 50 for their bonus level, I might as well take, you know, extra credit. Or I could use the shotgun pistol. Get you to turn. He's one tap. Accident by Cromrax literally bailed me out. That's crazy. I don't even know what to look for first, honestly. Problem is, I got like no inventory space. I didn't really drop anything good. Looking for pearlescent. Not seeing them. Four fifty four regen rate. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna give up. Uh, actually, pass these all that matters for me at the moment. I might pick that up. That could be really good. I have a mug shot. Have one of these too. That looks really cracked.
for the most part, he didn't really do... Say for the most part, he didn't really drop anything good. I will admit, having a better shield and maybe a new sub is nice. But I'd have really liked a new prolapsing weapon. Same, same. But the fact that we beat him is enough to make me happy. Well, I unintentionally, intentionally beat him. Well, there's stuff behind here. Is there? Here's not. Huh. Cool. Let's head out. I gotta say, I'm actually impressed with how challenging that was. And this thing looks cracked. Gearbox Silent Night Sniper. 800% crit damage. I gotta go through my subs in a minute. Actually, I go through a minute now. Okay, so right now, this one I don't want. Right now I have 141 times 4 equipped it. I'm not interested in that. One sixty four times four. This one's a better one than this one. It's a lot lower leveled. This one looks like it's the magic unit. Let's go turn Cromerax in, because I never expected to do that. <sighs> Actually, for the sake of doing this, it'd be easier to do it this way. I, I just actually, it's just starting to sink into me now that we literally just beat him without even trying. Because he literally glitched us into the freaking wall. And there's nowhere that he could go. I just don't believe it. Like, that's honestly wild. sake of playing this. This 
sake of playing this, I think I'm gonna run the sixth uh, uh, regen one for now, anyway. The only other quest we can go turn in is this one up here. I can't believe we beat him. Who would have thought he'd launch me into the wall? I, I didn't know you could even do that. And I've beat him a few times on the 360, because I've also had help with him. All right. Well, I don't know what uh, what to say. I'm just as bit of surprise as you guys are. Really, there's only technically there's three quests left. I have to finish out the boss rounds on the uh, Circle of Duty, and we have to do this mission. I mean, we could maybe go. Eh. We'll save that for a different episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, I still can't believe we beat him. I what, didn't even go into it trying to beat him. I went into it trying to figure out a strategy. And he made the fatal flaw of putting me in a spot he couldn't damage me. And the only move that could damage me, I could just go invisible. Uh, next video, we'll be heading in to finish up the rest of these quests. We have to take on another guy, too. That's another story. Promorax, the Invincible, is no longer the Invincible. Thank you guys for watching. Dr. Fresh just beat Promorax. Catch you in the next video.